hello hello and welcome happy monday i hope you had a great weekend my name is kat i am the nurse flipper today i am going to show you what sold on ebay i haven't been able to do this actually holding the items up and showing you for a couple of weeks because i was out of town so i'm going to talk a little bit about going out of town how my ebay business continued to work what i do and a lot of these listings were done not by me so we're going to talk about that how much i pay people to list for me and yeah so let's take a look at this thousand dollars of sales so first up and this just sold just a little bit ago this is a gunned teddy bear so some gun bears can sell for a high price this little one only sold for ten dollars and 38 cents only paid a dollar though so really really quick profit you can see here it does have the gunned up there on the heart so you would be able to identify it if you were outsourcing and quick little eight dollar profit up and next and this set really surprised me you have seen a few of these in prior what sold videos this one is vintage red wing village green so they are not marked but i did quite a bit of research to find that a lot of red wing village green is not marked so this one i'm less than a dollar and i'm actually already in the profit i bought a big set it was three cabinets full of this and I bought it for myself and I kept probably about 40% of it because realistically like stuff like this I'm not going to use. This is the third one of these and the last to sell and it sold for $30 plus the buyer paid $11.75 in shipping. So this is over a $25 profit. If you know me I absolutely love pottery and you're going to see some really really high pottery pieces going out today. All right, this is the first of seven Harley pins that are going out today. So this one is a little skull there, enamel. So I put vintage Harley Davidson Batwing skull. This one sold for $15, 15 bucks for this little one. The pin is bent. I did put on a lot of these. Please see photos for condition. Most of these pens, they were on a board. Uh, so I bought the whole board. I, I thought they were on cloth. Um, so they were actually hammered in. But this one sold for $15. So what I will talk about just really quick is my daughter has listed all of the Harley pens. I have not listed any of these. And I pay her $2 an item to list up to a hundred but if she reaches 150 she gets three dollars and she did reach 150 with the harley pins last week so i'm about a dollar into the item plus i paid my daughter three dollars to list so that's four dollars so this one's still about a nine dollar profit but you're going to see some lower ones that are not so it really evens out and i do want to say just really quick in the state of florida and it does vary by state if you have somebody listing for you, they cannot be a 1099 employee. They are using your items. It just does not meet qualifications. So I have payroll so that I'm paying in Social Security, Medicare for all of my employees. And I do it on a commission basis, but I do have to pay a company to do payroll for me. So if you're wanting to find somebody to list for you, you're gonna most likely need to find a payroll company to pay them which that is an expense for your business so it really benefits the business as far as costs but i would reach out to an accountant it's not like a super easy process it's super easy that i pay them two dollars once they hit a hundred they get a fifty dollar bonus once they hit 150 they get a hundred dollar bonus so just if you're thinking of growing getting somebody to list for you is definitely a way to do it uh that is what is what allowed me to go on vacation nine days but my store was still pumping out listings every day because i was taking the drafts and making them active while i wasn't home and my husband did stay home and pack so just a little side note about that next is this little ribbon sash i did Pick this up from george the antique nomads estate sale i paid a dollar this one sold in about two months for 14 dollars 85 so it'll be about 11 dollar 
profit. So little stuff like this um, and scarves are definitely some of my favorite things because they're really easy to list and really easy to ship. And that's another thing my friend Charlene actually listed that. So the majority of the items going out today were not listed by me but I am glad that I can still keep my business growing. I have been putting tons of time into my first educational camp, which is actually this Friday. If you don't know, I have the one this Friday scheduled as well as one in Tennessee in May. Will be two days of full on learning from organization to listing to photographing to shipping hands on just a really fun weekend we do have one spot open for orlando we had a last minute cancellation it is a bunk room for the ladies only and it is listed on my big cartel site so if you are up for some last minute travel plans or are close enough to drive to orlando florida it's 600 dollars and it covers the bunk the classes and your food for three days so definitely check that out if you're interested it was sold out for a while and then we also the private rooms for Sevierville Tennessee camp have sold out but we still have queen bunk beds um, the queen are top and bottom which is pretty cool they're really nice like uh, cabin wood bunk beds so there are still quite a few bunk rooms left if you or maybe you and a friend want to come and share a bunk room plenty of bunk rooms left for Sevierville Tennessee which is May 15th to 18th so I'm getting excited and camp is why I haven't been able to list. I am focusing on my presentations. We are doing goodie bags. We are having giveaways. So there's a lot going on with that. So I'm really happy I have other people doing listings. So my store is still active. Next is another teddy bear. This one only sold for four bucks. It is Thai, as in Thai Beanie Babies. Four bucks is all this little guy sold for. I'm less than 50 cents and he's about a three dollar profit buyer did pay five in shipping he will just go in a poly bag so all of these teddy bears they're not fragile they're not breakable I just put them into poly bags and off they go up next this is actually a vintage funeral cabinet card sold fast sold within a day I was surprised I have not had any of these so here it is of a young man and it is written on there on the back you can see February 1888 Brooksville Pennsylvania and it does have Brooksville Pennsylvania on the front I am less than a dollar and this did come from a personal buyout and it sold again under a day for $14 so this is about a $12 profit next is a brooch this is a really cute enamel brooch so as far as keywords for this one i put abstract swirl galaxy art brooch pen enamel handmade it is plastic and enamel pretty big you can see there by my hand i paid less than a dollar and it sold for 22 dollars and nine cents so this one's about an 18 dollar profit after fees it did take about three months to sell but really cool brooch up next is a long a burger basket this one is a Halloween one so this is kind of pumpkin style this one I paid eight dollars it sold for twenty five dollars plus the buyer paid nine eighty five in shipping really really cute does have the liner does have the protector I actually sold a big one of this that has a pumpkin lid for ninety dollars and the buyer backed out so unfortunately cancellations do happen when you're selling I thought it was the same buyer but it was not it was actually a different buyer who bought the big one they said their friend found them one they don't need two whatever the reason there's no point in pushing that buyer to take that item because if you ship it chances are they're just going to open a return and then you're out the shipping there and back when you have to refund them plus your item could sell to somebody that really wants it so I just canceled the order luckily they hadn't paid so there was no money to exchange hands canceled the order relisted the big pumpkin basket and I'm sure it will sell to someone else up and next is some of the boutique fabric that I got got a big box of it for $20 from an online high bid this is a beautiful beautiful print so for this one I put sarong fabric hand dyed boutique flower tapestry and I put the measurements so I'm less than a dollar in this one's over $23.39 so it's over $20 profit and actually that box of linens was in the profit with the first sale so this one sold in about two to three weeks up next this is a vintage Corel 
butter dish. This one sold for $10. So my niece listed this one. I want to show you guys and I'm going to have to kind of rethink my sourcing because this is $10. I'm less than a dollar in, but I paid my niece two to list it. So that's $3. Fees are about $2. So it leaves me about $5, which is okay. But in the future, I really need to try and find items that sell for like $15 or higher when I'm paying people two dollars to list because then I have to add that in and if they hit that 150 bonus I pay them three dollars each so it gets a little bit more tricky but it is about moving more quantity out and happy with the five dollar profit up next this is Wallace Silversmiths. I had actually never heard of them before. So I got these ornaments because they were in a lot of ornaments that had Tiffany ornaments. I'm going to open it and show you guys just in case you see these. They are just like big old silver jingle bells. They sound pretty nice. So this one, I am less than $2 into it sold in about three months and it sold for $35.09 so it's about a $28 profit keep an eye out for Christmas ornaments especially like these Wallace silversmiths seem to do well you're gonna see another one that I sold coming up and it had the Tiffany ornaments that sold for hundreds so keep your eye out especially like silver tone and the crystal ornaments such as Swarovski can be amazing amazing profits another teddy bear he was only a dollar this guy sold for 22.29 so he's about an 18 dollar profit he is dakin brand there's his tag so like with him if i saw him in the thrift store which is what i did i looked up dakin polar bear and i was ab able to find sold comps pretty easy so you can look up those stuffed animals as long as they have their tags Sold for $22.29, $18 profit, and it sold in about five to six months. So it was a little longer tail, and a lot of the plush is longer tail, so it does take a little longer to sell. Next is another shirt. Another shirt. It's the first shirt you'll see, but you will see another shirt. My friend Charlene listed this, so again, I have that cost in. This one is denim and flower. The big thing with this one, it's flip cluff. Look at those cool flowers on the cuff so i make sure to show that so this one sold for 12.99 so again i only paid 99 cents but i need to figure my cost at three dollars it's going to be about an eight dollar profit and sold in under a month that's one of the shirts i picked up in the hennessy at the thrift stores that had 99 cent sale days i also am going to be showing you another one that i picked up the same way all right another harley pin this one sold for 12 dollars so it's about a $7 profit after paying my dollar to list. So this one, I put Harley Davidson motorcycles, wings. It does say MM limited edition there. So that is in the title. I am not selling any of these with backs. I thought about ordering backs, but I was like, I'm not going to bother. It's not seeming to slow down sales. This one, again, $11.99 plus the buyer paid $4.70 in shipping and it sold in under a week. Up next is this Prairies and Skies. This is a cross stitch pattern, $3.42. Luckily, I listed this myself. So if I'm listing myself, stuff like this, I can do about 40 an hour. So it's about a $2 profit because I paid less than 50 cents. So if I can do 40 of them, I'm making about 80 bucks in an hour. But if I give stuff like this to somebody to list, I would have broke even and wouldn't have made anything so that's why i said kind of having to rethink my business sourcing and what they're listing a little bit because i could get into paying people to not make any money and just break even next is another harley pin this one's a cute one so this one twelve dollars again about a seven dollar profit sold in under a week it's a little hog with his little hat and i did put that and I have noticed on these, like putting bar and shield on the pins like this is what people are searching for. So again, $8 profit sold in under a week. So these Harley pins is more going to be about quantity than the actual dollar because 
I got 600 of them. So even if I only make $8 each, and there, there are some higher dollar ones, but if I only make $8 each, that's still over $4,500 in profit. So just something to keep in mind when you're bulk buying. Next is another little brooch. I absolutely love this one. It's a little filigree brooch with the red stones. Paid less than a dollar. It sold for $22.09, so about a $19 profit. And this one, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it actually looks like they glued a safety pin to it for the clasp. So this one did take a while to sell, but really good profit and really cute bird. Next is a teapot. So I love selling teapots. This is not a teapot I would have picked up by itself, but it was in an online auction lot. My friend Charlene listed this. And this one here has really pretty flowers. It has the gold jilt. Just a really, really pretty teapot. The nice thing for keywords is it does say made in Japan. That helps to put in the title. This one I am about a dollar in paid Charlene to to list it so it's going to be about a $17 profit so as you see if items are selling at 20 25 I get them for a dollar really really great for other people to be listing so that's probably the price point I will shoot for in the future up next is the first of the Madik pottery I hope I pronounce that right George told me how to pronounce it and I I can't even remember I am so excited George will be at my camp and teaching us so I get to see George Friday and spend the whole weekend with him and 25 of you. I'm so excited about Camp Friday. Okay, so first of the Medique bowls going out. Now, this Medique has a chip. Now I did see it when I pulled it and what I did is I double checked to make sure it was in my description. It was. I had to read in the title as well as really, really close ups of that chip. You can see I use tags. You can see that says 33. This one again is sign. It's funny because the majority of my Madik has went back to Washington State. So he's a Northwest Potter, not something that is commonly seen here in the Southeast, but I found an online estate auction who was an avid, the person was an avid Madik collector and I bought everything. So I paid about $12 per piece. This one here sold for $55. I listed this myself, Ama just amazing work. So this one is about a $40 profit and you're gonna see one that's a lot higher. Actually, it's up next, it's up next. And this one is stunning. If you do not know, I absolutely love pottery. And I told you guys I was thinking about doing pottery. I think I've changed my mind. It's just a little too complicated and a little too much to learn for what I've got going on in my life right now. I don't think I have time to learn about like firing temperatures and different glazes and this and that, but I used to make some amazing concrete formed leaves. I think me and Dalton are gonna start doing that from smaller leaves and we're gonna put them up on eBay and sell them and that'll get my creative outlet. So I'm gonna pop some pictures up here so you can see some that I made over 10 years ago. And we do still have elephant ears in our yard, which is perfect. We're gonna start some lotus. Our lotus we started last year did not make it through the winter. So I just ordered some more seeds for me and Dalton. And yeah, speaking of lotus, these look like lotus flowers. I used it in the title. This is a stunning piece of Madik absolutely amazing look at the outside of this bowl lotus kind of lattice so this buyer actually he bought the set of three for over two hundred dollars last week i had this listed at 325 dollars he sent me an offer of 225 i knew it was the same buyer i also know he's a medique collector and i have over 40 pieces left so i accepted his 225 dollars on this bowl hopefully he will come back for more again if you were to find it there's the medik very very easy to read and yeah this buyer asked me where i got it he said that my pieces are some of the best pieces he's seen and he was wondering how i had so many so i told him you know i bought it from a collector online estate auction and hopefully he will be coming back for more another harley pen i'm telling you like quantity quantity not big sales. This one sold for 10, so it's about a $5 profit. 
little Harley Davidson with the wings. There's the back. $10 sale, but all of these Harley pins definitely add up. And there's another. <laughs> another $10 sale, another $5 profit. But with these, my daughter's listing everything. So I'm not really doing anything with these. I bought them, gave them to her. We'll throw them in a little box, throw them in a padded poly, and that's the end of it. So not bad for $5. Now these, I did learn, this is like an oak leaf shape. So oak leaf was in the title. This one sold for $10, so another $5. And then this is from the same auction I got the Harley. This is McDonald, but... It says marijuana, over 1 billion sewn. This patch sold really fast. So if I get them in lots, and this was the only non-Harley patch that was in the lot, but this sold really fast, sold for $15. I'm a dollar in, so it's about a $13 profit. Actually, 11, my daughter listed it. $11 profit, it's going to Hollywood, California. Maybe this patch will be in a movie you see soon. I don't know. Next is another Wallace Silversmith. This one's 1997. I'm not going to open it. It's the same sleigh bell silver ornament. Paid less than a couple dollars. Sold for $35. So another about $30 profit there. All right. This Harley pen is going out to a viewer. It's going out to Miss Andrea. So thank you so much for your purchase. This one's really, really cool. It's actually a Harley Davidson firefighter pen. So down on the bottom, it says firefighter. This one is brass, really cool. So Andrea picked this one up for $25.99 and this one will be about a $17 profit. So Andrea, thank you so much. I'll throw you some nurse flipper stickers in with the pen and I really, really do appreciate you helping support me, my channel, my business, everything. It really, it really means a lot. Next is an egg. And I really thought this egg would sell faster, but it did not really really cool this is Borowski from Poland paid about five dollars for this egg it wasn't an online lot it sold for $25.99 plus the buyer paid 11 in shipping took about six to eight months it took a while but it's going to be about a 17 dollar profit and then this National Museum of the United States Army paid a dollar plus paid two dollars to my niece to list so this one sold for $7.79 it's about three profit all right last but not least this is something that is perfect for having people list so this is a coastal this is western you can see the pearl snaps there paid a dollar paid my friend charlene two dollars to list it so three dollars in sold for 16.24 so it's going to be about a 10 to 11 dollar profit and i am perfectly okay with that my friend earns money or my daughter plus i make 10 bucks and this is really easy to list and it's really easy to ship so the the dollar into 15 20 dollar clothes i think is perfect for that model the bulk pens is another thing it's just like i said it's a different way of thinking so that is everything we actually have no other platform sales going out this weekend which it happens just like slow ebay sales happen again this week was slow for us we have done about 2100 our average is over 2500 so we're about 400 dollars down but we had an amazing day friday that's what saved us we had 625 dollars sales day friday tonight immediately following this video i will be doing live ebay store reviews with my paid channel members so if you're not in the channel membership definitely check it out because immediately following this we are going to be doing ebay store reviews to help you improve your ebay store and get more sales so that is tonight tomorrow night i'm super excited myself and julian will be joined by clara the co-founder of list perfectly as well as susan from vintage vagabond vins neither of these ladies have been on so it will be a ladies night with julian tomorrow night come bring all your questions if you have questions for clara bring them on i really want you guys to see that clara is a reseller too she came from a reselling background she actually had an amazing reselling business when she founded list perfectly and i'm happy to have her on the panel with us tomorrow night and then wednesday will be part two of my jewelry research for expensive brooches they are going to start at six hundred dollars and go up to over two thousand dollars for a brooch 
for a little brooch so don't miss the second part of that research video i look forward to seeing you all tonight here in a few minutes as well as tomorrow and every tuesday at 8 p.m eastern standard time check out the camp if you want to come meet me in person this weekend one spot left for orlando hope you have a great week hope you had great sales i will see my members in a few minutes and everybody else tomorrow night at eight bye guys